In this demonstration, I'm doing the very famous underwater fireworks uh, demonstration where I'm going to make acetylene gas in this large cylinder. And what I have here is a glass tube connected to a uh, latex tubing um, that you can see has changed color over the years because of the addition reactions supported by the chlorine gas that I produce here. So what I'm using, and most people use um, uh, bleach or sodium hypochlorite, uh, what I'm going to use is potassium permanganate, okay, and I'm going to use about a 6 molar hydrochloric acid solution. I find that generates better um, chlorine gas. And of course, um, the reaction is between the acetylene gas that I produce by the reaction between the calcium carbide that I drop in water, so we're going to get bubbling of the uh, calcium carbide, and then I'm going to generate chlorine gas, and then when the chlorine gas bubbles collide underwater, they are going to uh, react exothermically and give off light. And hopefully it stays under the water. Now one problem that I've had over the years with this demonstration is my water is pretty hard, so I'm using distilled water for this demo. Uh, that might uh, work for you as well. So in any case, let's start the generation of the chlorine gas, and the chlorine gas with the potassium permanganate. Potassium permanganate is the oxidizer, okay? and it's going to create the chlorine from the um, hydrochloric acid. So Cl negative goes to Cl2, all right? And it's basically going to uh, become a uh, zero charged um, atom as the negative one is lost to the potassium permanganate who pulls it out of the hydrochloric acid. So let me add some hydrochloric acid. And if you can't see it because my flask is dirty, chlorine is a, uh, a green gas, pretty noxious gas. And I put this stopper, and um, we're going to be bubbling air at first. So I'm going to wait a little while so that we purge all of the air that's been sitting there and hopefully get the chlorine gas bubbling. I'm in a fume hood, by the way, because, well, I just don't need to smell the chlorine gas that much. Okay, so I'm looking to generate a good amount of chlorine gas, and it looks like I failed, so I'm going to try some more hydrochloric acid. All right. Get that going. All right. So we got a good uh, vicious amount of hydrochloric acid. Looks like I got some fluid in my tube, too, which is causing a problem. I'm going to guess that we purged it, so I'm going to try some calcium carbide, and hopefully we get those underwater fireworks that I talked about. Now I'm getting some on top, and that's not where I really want them. We want some on the bottom. There we go. Now we're getting them on the bottom. On the top and the bottom. Make sure I generate more of the chlorine gas. Okay, let me drop a little bit more of calcium carbide to get more acetylene working. And we should see more, more brilliant type of reaction here. So as the acetylene bubbles hit the chlorine bubbles, and we get that underwear. Now we're getting some incomplete combustion up top, so you've seen some uh, reaction above. I'm seeing less under the water, but it is a touchy bit of a reaction. But you're seeing the incomplete combustion, the carbon being made up here. Okay, and it's like I have stopped producing a lot of chlorine gas, so I'm going to recharge that by a little bit more hydrochloric acid to see if we can continue the brilliance of this. I might have eaten up all my potassium permanganate. So I'm going to just try to add some more potassium permanganate to the mix here and see if I can continue on with this reaction. And you get the idea of the reaction. 